This is a quick run through of how to do embossing folder paper casting. This is just a little spritz bottle with about a third of water in it. So you just need to use some white PVA glue. I just find that Elmer's works quite well. I don't really measure this, but I would say it's probably about half a teaspoon that you squirt in. And it's just plain water. Give it a shake. All this does is when you spray the serviette with it, it helps to bind it together. So I'm just gonna use a scrap of release paper here to squirt on. And this is just a double ply serviette that comes from Ikea, but you can use toilet paper, about five, probably about five sheets. So I'm just squirting some of the water with the glue mix on there, soaking that up and a little bit more. The idea is you want the paper towel to be quite wet so with no dry spots, I can feel that that's still true dry. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit more. You don't want it totally saturated so that it's dripping with water though, once it's at that point. You should be able to squeeze it and not actually squirt any water out of it. The advantage of using a serviette is it's a little bit stronger when you're actually unpeeling it than using a um, some toilet paper. So I'm just going to use, this is a 3D embossing folder. You can use a normal embossing folder as well. The main thing to remember is that you need to use some paper towel at the bottom because as this goes through the embossing machine, I'll just bring my big shot in, it will squirt some water out. So this, because this is a 3D one, I've got it open to the base plate one, putting the embossing folder in with the end wrapped with a paper towel. And I'll just run that through. And back again. Doesn't need to go through three times because the paper towel is quite thin. So you can actually see it does squirt a fair bit of water out. But when you open that up, you've got a really good embossed design. That's actually poked a hole through there, but that's no drama. So now I'm just going to dry this. I did actually do the colouring at one stage straight on top of it at this point, but I found that by drying the water and glue mix first, it helped to hold the paper towel together. It doesn't take very long to dry. All you're doing is just taking some of the excess moisture out of it. Running it through the embossing folder dries it quite well. So I have my splat box ready and I'm going to use some antique linen and speckled egg spray stains. I did find that using the spray stains is better than the oxides. I just found the oxides were a little bit strong so let's do the antique linen. If you move your hand while you're doing this, you end up with less of the, the splotches. And I think that works better in this instance because if you have the splotches really standing out, it can detract from the background design, but there is actually another step that you can do that will help your design to stand out. So I'm just drying this again. So you can see you don't need very much color. Just give this a quick dry. You can use normal embossing folders with this of course as well. It's just that this design works really, really nicely. And a more uh, patterned embossing folder works better because of the next step that we're going to do with the ink pad than an, uh, an embossing folder that's got a lot of open areas because you'll end up with too much ink all over the open areas and you don't really want that. Okay, so put this bit of paper back down here. It's dry. So that's the design that you can see quite well there and it's holding up, it's holding up quite good. So I'm just going to take the speckled egg and just wipe over 
the top and that really brings the design out. Give that another quick dry. So you can see this is quite a quick technique, quite an easy way to do a fast background using the embossing folder. Okay, now to actually separate this and get it cut down to the size that you want, I would normally use my ATC wizard and draw around it with a pen and then cut it out but I found that actually cutting these these layers of the serviette tends to make them separate more if you use um, a water brush I'll just grab my water brush if you use a water brush and just do a line just get some water running through it just do a line then you'll find it tears really well so for a card front or something like that you can make this quite a reasonable sort of a size but because I make ATCs they tend to be just a little bit smaller but I will actually keep this one now that it's this size for a card front So where the water hasn't gone through enough, it doesn't actually tear very well. Okay, so that's how you do that particular paper casting technique. The old fashioned way of doing it was actually using the paper folded several times toilet paper or, t or tissues even and pressing them onto a red rubber stamp and saturating it and then drying it while it's actually on the red rubber stamp. But less people use red rubber stamps these days and the embossing folders have the advantage of squeezing the excess water out, which means that it dries much quicker. Okay, hope that helps.